Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I got my hands on a very unique disc. This thing is bubble top. It's a Calvin Destroyer. Somebody modified it, but man, this should be fun to test out. Let's go. All right, guys, thanks to my friend Iceberg TV. He loaned this to me. Some of you may have seen this thing get tested out on his channel. Check that out. Isn't that nuts? Somebody modified this thing and man, I cannot wait to test this out. Check out how domey that is. That is just crazy. All right, enough talking about this thing. Let's throw it. All right, so this is literally the first time I am throwing this thing. I got to hold it a little bit last night, but here we go. Oh my goodness. Uh, that thing bombs. Let's walk this off, see how far that is. Okay guys, while I'm walking this off, you may have noticed I've got a new camera, I've got a new mic. I hope you guys are enjoying the quality a little bit better. Let me know how you feel about it. Also, these things aren't cheap. So if you guys wanna help support the channel, you can go down to my description and there's some links where you guys can save some money and it helps the channel. But I wanna point out Disc Golf Deals USA. If you guys use my code DiscRider, it'll save you 10% and it'll also help out the channel. So make sure you check that out. All right, let's go see how far this is. Okay, so I just walked this off. That was a cool 428 feet. Uh, that was nuts, because I did not throw this very hard. Okay, if you guys don't know the domey or something is, usually that means it'll get more air underneath it. It'll stay in the air longer, get more glide. I mean, come on, that, that dome, this glide, easy 430 feet. I gotta try this again. All right, this time I'm gonna try to, we got a little bit of a headwind, so I'm gonna try to put a little bit higher, get a more drifting turn to it, see if we can get some max distance out of this thing. Okay, that baby is flippy and it still panned out. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so obviously this thing can't handle any Anheuser angle and a headwind at the same time. Should have put it more on a flat angle, but yeah. Let's see if we can pump this thing out further than 430. Some of you may have noticed I'm out at Winthrop Gold here. I'm in one of the practice fields where the guys warm up, but we got the USDGC coming in here in about six weeks. So I might take this destroyer out on a couple of the gold layout holes and see if I can air it out. Back to where I started originally with Super Domey. Listen to that thing popping. We're gonna see if we can pump this out. If I can get it to where those trees are out there, that's over 500 feet. Doubt I'll get it that far, but let's pump one out. Got a little bit of a tailwind here. I think I'm gonna try to go high with a tiny bit of Anheuser. I don't know if this thing can handle that, but let's try it. <clears throat> okay, fight out. All right, we get the max flight. Nice, all right, that looks about the same as my last shot. Let's go find out. That last throw I got 440 feet so i definitely am improving that's definitely a solid 40 feet further than i normally throw uh, distance drivers but yeah let's try this out so again i've got a little got a little headwind coming in this direction i really like throwing up hyzer flips so let's see if i can do a little uh, hyzer flip and then maybe a super flex distance shot here man this disc is so weird such a such a weird bubble on it don't really know where to put my thumb <clears throat> okay, no headwind this time. Nice little hyzer bomb. Gosh, that thing glides for days. All right, obviously this thing is illegal. It's been modified, but super curious about that dome. Is there a way manufacturers can manufacture a disc with a dome that domey like that to get some extra distance? I'm getting a solid 10% extra distance just because it has that big bubble top. I don't know. Manufacturers, can you guys do that? What a fun, weird disc to throw. I'm gonna go a couple more times with this. One thing I have noticed with this dome, maybe it's just me, but I feel like once it goes, it goes really far, but once it slows down, it just crashes to the ground real quick. All right, we got a little tailwind. Maybe I'll try doing a little bit of a hyzer flip. See if I can get it drift a little to the right, get a little extra distance. Oh, 
All right, getting some drift. Boom. All right, that was my farthest throw by far. Let's go walk this off. All right, that throw was a cool 460 feet. Guys, like I'm not throwing it super hard. I'm just throwing it how I normally do. But isn't that amazing that just putting a little bit of extra dome on that, even though it's illegal, can get you some extra distance like that? I mean, I'm talking like 10 to 20% further. That is nuts. All right, let me know. We know this disc is illegal because so, somebody modified it. But is it okay? Like, is it PDGA legal for a company to figure out a way to make a disc that's got a dome like that? Like, will that pass the PDGA inspection? I don't know. Does anybody know? Let me know. You guys need to look into that. All right, so I maxed out at 460 with this. Again, I only threw it a handful of times, but this is super fun disc. I just happen to know of a hole out here at Winthrop, which is usually hole number 10. It's about 460 feet. It's got a little bit of a low ceiling, but we're gonna take this out there and maybe see if I can uh, pump one out. All right, here we go. Over to hole 10 at Winthrop Gold. Here we are at Winthrop Gold, hold number 10. Let me see if I can use that UFO Superdome Calvin Destroyer. This one's about 460 feet. Let's see if I can hit the island. Got a little bit of a headwind, so I'm gonna have to put this on hyzer for sure. Don't think that's far enough. All right, that was a good little pump. I was a little afraid to get it in the tennis courts over here. Dylan's gonna kill me if I lose this thing. All right, guys, so I just checked the caddy book. I was way off. This hole is actually 550 feet. I got about 100 feet away, so that's about 450. So that's good. I could be out here all day trying to get it on this island. That's not gonna happen. I'd have to throw it 500 feet. Even in an open field with no trees around, I wasn't able to do that with this disc yet. But man, me who normally can throw maybe 400 max, I was able to pump this out to 460 with this weird super dome. Yeah, who knows? What a fun, weird disc. Totally illegal. But man, thanks for checking this out. All right, until next time, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment if you haven't done so. Peace out. Fear is useless. You got nothing to prove. No one can judge you. Fear is useless. You got nothing to prove. No one can judge you.